Meet the Graviners, everybody's favorite dysfunctional family, starring Helen and Damien and Tallulah's Tiara as Tallulah's Tiara. This episode, nothing much happens. Well, hello everyone, and welcome back here to Meet the Graviners, and you join us on a most auspicious day. Do you see this? Tallulah is finally going to school. So let's sort her out, shall we? So you go and have a quick shower, and then grab something to eat. Have a, have some leftovers. We do. Have some pancakes. There we go. That'll get you sorted out. And then it's off to school with you, young lady, and you might actually get a grade improvement. Which, yeah, let's face it, it's about as flat as you're singing at the moment, isn't it? What are you after here? You want to paint? <laughs> Money to charity paint. Let's do that. There we go. I'm sure we'll get you to paint later on. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, and okay, other things I want to do this episode are. Um, are Damien. Now, people have said that uh, if I move, it's probably going to reset this, uh, this particular lifetime wish. So. Before this young lady comes back from university, we're going to have to sort that out, aren't we? Ah. No, I'm sorry, I couldn't go to school. I was busy eating my breakfast. Alright, let's keep an eye on you, shall we? Still time for you to go to school, young lady. There we go. Shoe off, and Damien's awake and ready to face the morning. Let's see what we need to do with you. Well, we need to... Uh, uh, decontact, sorry, shower you, and I think that, that, that joke last episode, and you can have some pancakes as well, and then, I think what we need to do is get you chatting to these people, and I'm not sure who to go with first, uh, possibly Becca, possibly Becca. Are you off to school? You're off to school. Excellent. And you need to work extra hard. So work hard. There we go. Uh -huh. um, and you're having a midlife crisis. You're comfy and you had a good meal. What do you actually need? You need social, don't you? Okay, so uh, why don't you have a chat with some people? Why don't you catch up with William? William Fangman. Hello, William. I just wanted to have a chat with you. And... Well, you might as well call your boss as well. Alright, uh, and that should help get your social up a little bit and help you with your relationships, which I believe... Yes, you need to be up with your boss, but then you're fairly up as well anyway, aren't you? So, uh, after that, go and work on your charisma. Practice speech, that's what I'm talking about. And Damien, what should we do with you? So you have allergy haze, which is not helping you out much. <laughs> oh, actually, I wonder. What's your life? Oh, 10,000. Excellent. Let's get you a couple of these. So I'm thinking eye candy might help you get other people in the mood. So let's grab that and give you another 5,000. Is there a 5,000 one? Oh, actually, I think that's got to be done. Now, if ever there is a Damien-esque lifetime reward, it is that one. So let's let's give him that. There we go. So that's spent all that, but that's a good. Uh, we'll wait until you get to 10,000 and you've got nothing. Okay. So, now that you're inappropriate but in a good way, how long have you got to go to work? Uh, so you've got three hours. I think I know what I'm going to do with you. Why don't you pop down to the beauty parlor? There we go. Visit Barney's Salon and Tattoo. And speak to a certain young lady down there. And Ellen, we, we still want to get Ellen a tattoo. But I think we'll do that after she's finished work today. So, yeah, I think so. That gives you time to talk to a few people. Go to work. And then we can pop in there afterwards and get yourself a tattoo. Right, okay, so... Your mood should be fairly high. Yeah, it's not too bad. 
Uh, why don't you eat leftovers, pancakes, and then and then work on your charisma. There we go. Practice speech. That's good. Uh, okay. Damien's made all his way down here. Good man. Okay, so. Who do we want to talk to here? Becca Bijou is one of the ones I think on your list. Yes. Hello, Becca. Do you remember me? I was the one looking at your legs all the time. Get tattoo, excellent. I now know we can do it. Okay. Um Okay, let's get 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 this greet out of the way. If she doesn't slap you instantly across the face, this might work. Ellen Grabner has just befriended a vampire. Tagoni. Hanika's being Oh dear. Lord. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, Damien learns that Becca Becca does oh dear. Becca doesn't like to flirt. The Becca is childish and Becca is charismatic. No. Oh, you started off well there, didn't you? <laughs> that actually went fairly well, considering she doesn't like to flirt. Nice. I don't like to flirt, but I will instead talk to you about salmon. Hey, hey, tell joke. Um, friendly. Let's, let's get to know her a little bit. Okay, so that one. Wine about life. I haven't seen that one before. What's that? Uh, uh, special. Oh, that's dramatic. Oh, of course. Of course. Of course. Um, well, anything in there is probably not going to help as much considering she's not flirty. That really narrows down our romantic options, but never mind. Let's just get to know her a little bit first. Let's get that bar up a touch. So friendly. Ah, shaka bra. Who doesn't want a shaka bra? Funny. Now let's just stick with friendly for now. Friendly. Talk about the hail. Friendly. Talk about the fog. Gosh, it's nothing but a, a, a laugh a minute in this conversation, isn't it? Uh, friendly, let's do the obvious one. I love doing this. Standing in where they work and ask them about their career. It's, uh... So, what do you do? Hello. That'll keep you going until you go to work, I think. And that should get your relationship with Barbara up a little bit. And afterwards, we'll come back for the kill. Nebel Alright, okay, you've got three quarters an hour until you've got to go to work, so let's cut that conversation short. You have something to eat. What's happened to Delicia Hoover? Hmm. She's been scared away. Has she decided to take over the world and join the uh, the criminal career instead? I wonder what's happened to her. We shall have to track her down. Ah, Ellen, in your pink onesie, you look so elegant. So, so divine. Mm. Mm. How are you doing, Damien? How much offence have you caused so far? Um, you, you've managed to get her to turn in <laughs> invisible at a sheer embarrassment, which is... Oh, oh, there she is. Shagavon! Shagavon! Hey! Belko web me. Marco Tanzi is in a black. But dinner blap. Gosh, the language he's using. Right, it's back away from this a little bit. So there we go. So how are you doing at school? Alright, you're finally getting some grains. Your cold is still playing up, but you're indoors. You got entertained, which is good. Entertained, yeah. Preparing for university. Yeah, you're in a good way, aren't you? Right. Whips up. Whips up. You know, I think this is actually working out quite well for you, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so. Off to work. Afterwards, I think we will carry on with it. I put a couple of um, extra devices in here. Oh, sorry, a couple of extra devices were added. Oh. 
<laughs> oh yes, I gotta see this. So, uh, and then go to work. There we go. <laughs> Oh yes, I wonder what he's going to look like with the tan. I have to see this one. Buy a car? Oh, they're never going to get 10,000, are they? And yeah, you're not the workout type, so let's not bother with that one. So, what do you do for a living? Hmm. Oh, he's late for work, doesn't matter. Um, if you think how close he is to actually getting a promotion, he should do all right today. Damien is a oh, good lord. Becker is a tattoo artist. Who would have believed it? Right. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Come on, go in there. Oh, right. Uh. I love the fact that they're using industrial strength bronzing solution. Oh, yes! Oh, yeah! Oh, yes! Uh, there we go. Excellent! I think that is our thumbnail for this week's episode. Yes. <laughs> she had not indeed. <laughs> oh, very nice. Okay. Well, you and my piebald friend, go and leave uh, the lovely Becca alone and get to work with you. So... Yeah, it's time for you to I'll get carry on complimenting the director. It seems to work right with you. So allergy haze, having a midlife crisis, uneven tan, a very uneven tan. But you're doing all right, really. How are you doing, Ellen? Oh, I think it's time for you to work hard. Let's see. If, actually, let's see if we can push a, a promotion out of you. It's probably a little unlikely today, but let's see if you can do it anyway. And. Actually, I think I think to be totally honest, we're going to have to give uh, Ellen a tan as well, aren't we? So, meet four new Sims and daughter a drink in the Banzai Lounge. And we'll probably do both of those this evening. And Damien, need you to work hard on a certain young lady. When did you come home? Did you not go to work? You did not go to work. Okay, that's all right. All right. Okay, so what are you doing? You're doing your homework, which is excellent. Okay, so when you've done that, okay, let's get that out of your system. And when you've done that, grab yourself some veggie rolls. And then finish off your homework by the looks of it, because. Oh, I just really don't like the way they do that in this game, but never mind. Right, uh, do homework and then listen to Tabcast, guitar Tabcast, and take that painting. There we go. All right, what was all that about? Ellen is earned for. Uh, uh, oh, Damien's impressive performance has earned him a promotion to personal assistant as well as a bonus of 492 simoleons. Being the right-hand man of someone important is almost as good as actually being important. You'll need to mix and mingle with celebrities while taking care of tasks for your employer, which means you will need to work your way into lesser red carpets by upping your own celebrity status. Damien will get a slight point bonus when gaining celebrity points. Nice! That's very nice indeed, actually. So well done, Damien. Good work there, man. All right. So we've got a bit of money now, which is good. But we're going to spend it almost instantly, which is not so good. Uh, where are you checking out your wrinkles? Oh, you're here. Good. 
Okay, so let's have a quick look at you. What state are you in? All right. Um, wash hands. Use. And I think everyone would hate me if I don't like give you a tan as well. So get yourself a spray tan. And you. I think you need to latch on to Becca almost immediately. Okay, so. Um, let's try the romantic a little bit. Okay, ask the sign. Romantic, ask if single. Romantic. Flirt is not a good idea. Compliment personality. Uh, romantic. Compliment appearance. I think you're looking very nice. But I kind of think you forgot to put your trousers on this morning. Mm. We'll see where we go with that. And Ellen, once you've done that lot and you've got yourself a spray tan, I think you need to meet a few people. And by some strange coincidence, there's a few people here. Alright, get to makeover. No. Unfortunately, I think we've just monopolised the... Uh... Oh. <laughs> Two of my sims there. Two that I created uh, myself. Redige, Misa. Yep, and she's still complaining. Okay. Alrighty. And you're going to need a a tattoo, aren't you? I'll tell you what. A tattoo. Uh, are stencil tattoos removed? Sims must switch out of their work clothes to get a tattoo. Okay, well that could be done. Come here. Alrighty. And... Change clothes. It's there somewhere. Change outfit, there we go. And let's get change you to something a little bit revealing so we can have a quick look at some of your tattoos. I heard bizarre. Oh. Right. Come on. Excellent. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you who watch Everlasting Summer, I found Ellen the complete Olga look, which is which works quite well on her actually. Uh, and now so, amusing greet, and get a tattoo, there we go. And what's up with Damien, where are you? Still on your way here. Is that you? No, that's not you. Come on, Ellen. Oh, I see, Damien jumps in the way. Lenny Shutter would like to know if Dan and then Grabner would like to go on a date. Oh, no, not right now. Oh, that's so bad. That's so annoying. Um, Right, looks like Damien's decided to monopolise her. So get yourself a spray tan. Uh, I'm not oh, dear, Damien. Um, Echo is going home. Right, okay. You have got such talent at this, I've got to be honest with you. Your timing is excellent. So, where is Becca? I think we might actually have to wait until she gets off the lot first, don't we? Yeah, okay. And that get off the lot. And then we'll invite her out. Come on. Right, that might count as off the lot. Alright, okay, invite out. Um but a bit of bit of bit of bit 
Let's have up the dinner, shall we? Okay, let's go out for dinner. There we go. Alright. And Ellen. Ugh, I've got to be honest with you, that looks pretty good on her. So does the tan. Alright, Ellen, okay, let's uh Let's see what we can do with you, eh? Alright, okay, so you need fun. And you need just basically need to cheer yourself up. There's no automatic tattoo machine in here as some description is there. Who's this? Uh okay, let's greet some people. Let's do that with you. You have no chance with a five-star celebrity, but why not? Oh, Sabada yourself. Alright. Oh, so he's attracted, but not interested. Alright, that's a strange combination, but never mind. All right. Okay. So, but let's give it a try. Try to impress celebrity. Um, talk about occupation. Political. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, and you've got an attractive young lady wearing almost nothing talking to you. Even if you're a massive celebrity, you must be into that. Yes, go budget. <laughs> okay, well you got that one. Um, is there anything at all that you can do to impress? Um, talk about skill. Talk about your martial arts. Let's see if that does the trick. If it doesn't, you know, oh, well, I, I think it could work. I mean, do you know that I know a ways to kick you? Do you force your kidneys out of your ears? Are you now interested in me? Dag, dag. Hmm. Nibby, hobby, the weebdo. Hmm. Wobbler. How's the date getting on? Is the date getting on? Alexi Fresco. Um, has she fled? Has she done the sensible thing and run away? Probably. In the meantime. Why can't I do anything with this guy? Oh, he's because he's going home. Okay, never mind. See if your date turns up. In the meantime, why don't you order a drink? Here we go. No. Nope. Do it with your order drink. A spline reticulator, and why not? And how are you getting on, Ellen? Oh. Uh, about as well as I'd expect. But on the other hand, you've met two new Sims tonight, so that's a good start. You're obviously not going to uh, impress him that much. And Bob Bobson. You can probably guess I named that one. Why don't you get to know him? In fact, why don't you get to know him well, indeed? Mm. Come on. I'll leave you talking to Bob there. Your date turned up yet? Who's this? <laughs> no. Should we invite them out again? Let's invite them out again. Uh, 
Okay, so people. Um, invite out. There we go. All right, let's see what what happens. Let's queue up a few interactions for you there, Ellen, and then you probably need to go home, I should imagine. Alright. Friendly. Ask about for a career. Friendly. Get to know. Friendly. Gossip. Friendly. Ask about Alma Mater. There we go. That'll keep you going for a minute. You can drink your drink. Is it yes? Let's see if she actually turns up this time. No, yeah. yes, yes, no. Sure, sounds like fun. Let's meet there. Are we actually going to meet there this time? I suppose time will tell. Let's have a quick look on uh, Tallulah. So, what state are you in? So, you've got a bit to work at school. You've done your homework. Yeah, you're not doing too badly, are you? And Ellen. I must know three people this evening, which is almost enough. Sna greeby. Pindala nerp to bizana. Uh, yeah, if he gets a friend, perhaps we'll ask him for a campaign donation. Who are you talking to? Announce promotion. Suba Lurkso, snarg. Lib Nor. Hmm. She's turned up. Hehe. <laughs> Friendly. Chat. Okay, so. Let's form a group and uh, ask about day uh, and get you going. And Ellen, how are you doing? Bob, I think, was actually one of the, the, the first sim I made in The Sims 3, which probably explains the age of his haircut. Ellen learns that Bob has a green thumb. Should get that scene too. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, she's attracted. She's feeling good. She, she's got a tan. Nah. She could use a little bit more fun. And you can probably tell where she is if she's upwind, but never mind. Mm. Friendly. Uh, applaud vegetarianism. Friendly. Chat and then uh, one last one friendly ask for a campaign donation. You never know. Damien's made a friend. Good lord. All right, so that's going to be working. All right, um, form group. This work. Seal thou voter. Duo Glaviglarn van der Travel abroad. Let's promise that. Mm -hmm. I'm too tired to hang out now. Maybe later after I've had some rest. Okay, well. Alright, well, you've got the, uh, the things up a bit, so that's not too bad. Eat here. It's closed. Um, uh, right, so give flowers, romantic red. Let's let's uh, let's let's heat this up a little bit. Um, and I think in the next episode we'll go in for the kill. <laughs> they seem to be getting on quite well, don't they? And 
Yeah, she's Damien's type, you know, she's got a pulse. Though I've got to be honest with you, that's probably optional. Farzi! Mini Boli Tanu! Like, they could have gone out to, to dinner if she turned up on time. That's quite annoying, but never mind. We will deal with that later on. How are you two getting on? Oh, you're asking for the campaign donation. Oh, Ellen's my new friend. Excellent. Did you get anything out of that? <laughs> okay, friendly. Um, get to know and what the hell? Friendly invite over. There we go. All right, and then we'll. Ooh, it's getting a bit late, but no, it's all right. Damien's being flirty. We didn't find out. Uh... What state is she in? Um, she's got no partner. Excellent. Okay, so romantic. Hmm, which one? Ask her skinny dipping or ask to watch the stars. Which one should we do? Which one should we do? Ask her skinny dipping, why not? Love day is coming up. Mm. Mm. A vegetarian green thumb slob who's unemployed. <laughs> My god, he's a catch. The only thing is, he's not called William. Would you mind if I called you William? Especially at the height of passion. Right. Did she just say yes? I think she just said yes. Or did she not say anything? Who's this? Matilda Smart. Uh, romantic. Ask to go skinny dipping. Let's try this and actually hang around this time. Okay, that's a good sign. Shame I don't want to promise that, but never mind. Come on, do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Uh. She's not saying no, but I'm actually doing it either. Okay. We could go. Oh, possibly because it's snowing. Possibly because it's snowing. In which case. Romantic. Ask to watch the scars. That one should work. So tell me, would you like to freeze your butt off in the name of romance? Yeah, that worked. There we go. I think this could be the start of a rather short, but still. Beautiful friendship. Ah, oh, how sweet. <laughs> let's leave him to it and let's head back. Um, let's see what Ellen's up to. Uh, oh, she he came. She's cooking. This could end badly. Alright, well I think we're going to leave them there. Ellen has made a new friend. Damien has turned orange, but in a good way. And oh, you can order food there, can you? How oh, interesting. But I think not. Okay. We're going to... Well, I'll sort it out afterwards. We're going to say goodbye to her and head home now. I think it's uh, gone one in the morning. And he's found someone else he wants to flirt with. Yay! So... 
until the next time, I've been Simon Parsons, this has been Meet the Grabbiners. Thank you and good night.